All right, let's head over to the left where, isn't it way down here? It is way down here. We can find two antidotes. Cures poison. What are you guys trying to catch? Like tuna? Like cans of tuna? Because they do seem to be kind of prevalent around here. Interesting. Uh, there's a pier over here, but it doesn't lead to anything. Not right now, at least. But we can head over here, and we can find the Besaid Oryx. As you can see, they're not necessarily the best players in the world. Uh, all right, so let's talk to you. Oh, man, I'm, I'm blanking on your name right now. What is it? You're good. I remember that. You're, you're a defense. This is Bada. There we go. I like Bada. I really want to make Captain Walker proud at this year's tournament. Come practice with us once the toxin wears off, okay? Hope you get better soon, brother. And we get two potions for talking to him. Yeah, we're, we're done with you now. Uh, this, I remember, is Keepa because he's the keeper. Hey, I, I'll admit it. We're not the best blitzers in Spira. No, you're not. To do our best, that's our motto. Guess it's not enough, though. No. No, it's not. Here, take this and do your best, yeah? And we get 200 gil. Anything else? We're always top dogs for the few, first few minutes of the game, yeah? Then we start to run out of breath. That's when they get us. First few minutes, but Captain Walker, man, he don't stop. No halftime breath for him, yeah? He just keeps going. If you guys run out of breath in the first few minutes, you drown. Like, this game's played underwater. You guys should just be practicing holding your breath. That's all he has to say, though. We're moving on from Keepa. Keepa's surprisingly good. We'll talk about Keepa later. All right, you're the other defensive guy? I want to say, like, Jasu. I was about to say, I want to say Jasu or something, but it's Jasu. I don't remember all of the guys' names, but, you know, I'll play with them properly when it comes down to it. But that shot was spectacular, bro. Wish I could shoot like that. You don't shoot. You're on defense. Captain Walk is waiting for you. You better get going, yeah? There's fiends on the road, yeah? Use this if you get in trouble. And we get three more potions. That shot was spectacular, brother. Wish I could shoot like that. <laughs> Obviously, you can't. I don't remember if you can actually ever do that. That's pathetic. That's just awful. No, we're done with you. All right, here we can find... Datto? It is Datto. I gotta stop closing my eyes when the ball comes down. <laughs> I don't think that's your problem. All right, let's, let's watch. One, two. Oh, my neck. You being a blip, blitzball player is probably what saved you out there. The best players, they can hold their breath like forever. Yeah, indeed I did. You really should be paying more attention to the blitzball. What is with your neck? I wish I could do that. We had an underwater race once, yeah? To see how long we could go. Two laps and we were out, but Captain Walker went five, no sweat. Yeah, you guys really need to work on holding your breath if you want to be better at blitzball players. A toxin's nasty stuff, yeah? You should go rest up. What am I saying? Take this, it might help. And we get a high potion. You should probably, like, just rub that on your neck, man. When I was talking to you over here, it was not working out. And then here we can find Letty. I like Letty. I can head the ball pretty good. Today's just a bad day, yeah? Ah, uh, his neck too. You guys are terrible at headers. Why are you even practicing headers? Are there headers in this game? I don't remember be there being headers in Blitzball. It's been a while since I played actual Blitzball. I played a soccer game that was close. There were headers in that. This is really weird, yeah? I could do five in a row yesterday. I'm talking to him by facing that way. <laughs> I'm nowhere near Captain Waka, but I can hold my own underwater, yeah? It's just that I'm not so good with the ball. That is a complete lie. He's actually pretty damn good with the ball. They just flat out lie here. It's true that the best players can even sleep underwater? Man, that's like superhuman, you know? Yeah, I can sleep underwater. I was recently unconscious underwater. 
All right, looks like we're looping around. All right, looks like we're done here with the Besaid Oryx, the Orox. Let's move on. I felt like I could trust this Waka, so I just had to ask. Um, it's true Xanarkin was destroyed, right? A thousand years ago? So it's just a big pile of rubble now, isn't it? Long time ago, there were a whole lot of cities in Spira. Big cities with machina, machines to run them. People played all day and let the machina do the work. And then, well, take a look. Sin came and destroyed the machina cities. And Xanarkand along with him. Yeah, that was about a thousand years ago. Just like you said. If you ask me, sins are punishment for letting things get out of hand. What gets me, though, is we gotta suffer because of what some goofballs did way back when. Of course, we must always repent for our sins. That's important. It's just that it's hard to keep at it sometimes, you know? It was just as Riku said. Waka and Riku couldn't both be lying. Why would they? <laughs> That's a weird point to laugh. But you from the Xanarkand Daves, that was a good one, huh? Hey, I'm not saying that team never existed, yeah? <laughs> but you gotta figure, a team living in luxury like that be pretty soft, eh? I appreciated the fact that Waka was trying to cheer me up. But at that time, all I could think about was... Everything Riku? that happened to me, all this, started with Sin. Maybe oh. if I could find Sin one more time, I could go home. For now, I just live life until that time came. No more worrying about where or when I was. Sure, it was hard not to think of home, but I started to feel better already. A little better, maybe. You're lying to yourself. But you know what they say about encountering Sin, third time's the charm. So uh, we can find a safe sphere here uh, when we do. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, Waka has joined our party. We even get a name for him and everything. Uh, we're not going to go over him just yet. The game will go over him in detail later. But I do want to save here because uh, an area that we're about to go through is one time only. And there are some chests. So I don't want to go too far without getting those chests. Let's save in case I screw this up. Should be good to go, though. Let's continue forward, where we can find Waka outside of my party. Hey, it's this way. All right, so that way. Let's try to go this way, then. Oh, they're not letting me do the small little climb, even though we can see a walkway going that way. No, we have to go this way. And over here, we can find Waka hanging out all by himself. Oh, it's kind of a nice view, isn't it? What? Why'd you hit me? What's the big idea? Man, the future is so violent. Everybody's just hitting people left and right. All right, so this area is uh, our one-time only area. I don't know why, but it, it is. Uh, so we need to be on the lookout for treasure chests, usually underwater. Same controls as before, and we do get random encounters here sure let's use uh let's use a spiral cut on on the piranha uh this will probably give me the opportunity to go over overkill because we'll probably get an overkill here indeed we do if you get an overkill uh you get uh better rewards for it you get more ap and you get better items uh it does not apply to gil as far as i remember but uh yeah, just kill him. Waka uh, throws blitz balls at his enemies. Apparently, it hurts. Um, so he was—he wasn't actually trying to be nice to Titus when Titus was in the water. They didn't make a mistake. Waka was attacking him. All right, let's uh, let's open up the treasure. Open up the treasure chest. It's so hard when it's underwater like this. Oh, I was a little bit too far away. And here we can get a phoenix down. So that's something. And let's move on. Uh, we'll go more into detail about how Waka works uh, later, but he's ranged. He throws blitz balls at his enemies. And it's 
cool. Alright, this is probably going to be the last time I show off piranhas. After this, we will move on to something, you know, better by skipping things. Alright, so, down go the piranhas. They hurt a little bit. There's, there's Waka giving himself the thumbs up, and we are good to go. Power Sphere for that one, not that it matters too much. No gill. No gill. All right, so random encounters from this point are only going to be new enemies. If it's a repeat enemy, we will not show it off anymore. All right, in here we can get a high potion. Yeah, that is the next one. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything here. That's a big one. I should also say that the normal formula for overkill is one and a half time times the enemy's HP. And you kind of have to time it out a lot during, you know, boss fights and stuff like that. But early on in the game like this, I don't care too much about overkill. Uh, but that's the normal formula. That's the amount of damage that you need to do in order to get the overkill. But especially early on, I don't care too much about it. I will try to care during boss fights, though. That's when it really does matter sometimes. Uh, but that's not always going to be possible. Well... Sometimes it will. Hopefully it will. And in here we can get two antidotes. Those are the three treasure chests that I was looking for. They're very easy to miss if you don't keep diving. So we're ready to go before we take on more piranhas. So many piranhas. They're just all over this place. Who hides potions and phoenix downs where there are piranhas all right so just a straight shot head for the red arrow but first i believe we will get a cutscene before we even make it there unless there are more piranhas and there always seem to be more piranhas yeah, it shouldn't be too much farther here yeah there we go uh-oh uh, he was laughing underwater go Got a favor to ask you. You want me on your team, right? Hmm? I'm smart. I can figure this stuff out. A major blitz tournament's coming up. All the teams in Spira will be there. It's so huge, I'm sure someone there will recognize you. Then you can go back to your old team, right? It'll be fun. What do you say, huh? Come on, come on. Sure thing. Dude, our team is gonna rock, eh? I can't hear you. But sure, things are go going to go I very well. I thought then that Blitzball and Sin were the only two things that Spira and Xanarkin had in common. I wasn't too far off, either. Technically, they said Xanarkin was in this world. It's just in ruins. 